maybe, maybe it's just me, but maybe some of you can relate. I am the type of person that I wouldn't take anything from Floyd Mayweather. Meaning, okay, let, let me let, okay, let me put it into perspective. If Floyd Mayweather, the WBC 147 pound and 154 pound champion, the WBA Super World 147 and 154 pound champion, the ring recognized 147 pound and 154 pound champion. If he offered me a t-shirt, I say, okay, all right, cool. That's a nice little money team t-shirt. If that t-shirt turns into an outfit, all right, cool. If he offers me a watch, I may be like, whoa, because you know it's going to be an expensive ass watch. I'm going to have second thoughts. If he offers me a vehicle, that's where I draw the line. Now, don't be stupid, people. Don't be stupid. I know, I know. Listen, listen, I'm a boxing fan, but let's be real. You don't want to put yourself in a situation where Floyd Mayweather can take something back from you. Simple as that. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. We're going to talk about Luis Arias. What is he? Um, uh, Cuba Arias. 10-0 with four KOs. Formerly of Mayweather Promotions. And he was released recently. Floyd Mayweather did some girl kitchen. This is what they call it. They call it, and from where I'm from, they call it kitchen bitch. And what that means is he sent Jaleon Love, apparently... And well, well, basically, shout out to uh, Be Real TV. He actually had an interview with Arias um, yesterday. Right now, it's October the 30th, 2014. 5.04 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live of Real Combat Media. And I cover boxing. So, if you don't know, Luis Arias, very good amateur. He had about 100. He had over 100 wins. If I'm correct, like 130 or 40 in the amateurs. Long story short, him and Jaylee I love were, were cool. They would maybe even have competed against each other one day. But it just so happens that Arius was cool with the Rockman brothers. The Rockman brothers most recently are in the news for filing a lawsuit against Floyd Mayweather because on All Access they participated in um, doghouse rules. Basically, they got ran down on, you know, and and. I'm guessing Rockman, the father, said, yo, y'all got embarrassed on TV. He shouldn't have been doing it with y'all in the first place. And it's not just that we, we know the type of person Floyd Mayweather is. It's just that he's a boxing promoter now. And what that means is he has a very he has a, he's a very large title in, in boxing. He puts on fights. He's supposed to take care of his fighters. So getting back to what I was saying. If Floyd Mayweather offers you a car, listen, you take that shit at your own risk. If Floyd Mayweather offers you housing, you better scrape the bottom of the barrel and go to every single person you can to try to help you get housing before you take it from him. Now, you know, oh, yeah, he's going to give you some nice housing. Oh, yeah, you're going to be looking good. But guess what? You are signing over your voice. You are signing over your guts. You are signing over your free speech because why? If you say something that he doesn't like, you do doesn't something that he doesn't like. If you express your opinion, guess what? He taking that shit back. And he's going to make, and the, the bad part about it is, he's going to make sure everyone knows that he's taking it back. Which is some clown ass shit to me. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. People say, see, in the ring, I respect Floyd Mayweather. And just because, you know, I'm a black guy and Charles Barkley was right. If you don't know what I'm talking about. I'm supposed to be like, oh, brother, 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 Floyd Mayweather, brother, 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 brother. No, 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 no. That ignorance right there is what fuels the younger people thinking that rich people are supposed to act like that. But yeah, you just want to be like, be glad that that brother got somewhere. Listen, what he did to that kid, you know, as far as, and it was captured, it was captured, you know, on camera, basically. And the guy who took it, I forgot his name, long story short, the guy who got the, who got it. Basically, was just trying to get an interview with Floyd Mayweather. Not an interview. He was trying to get a picture. In fact, I think he offered Floyd Mayweather $100 to get a picture with him. Something like that. But long story short, he captured um, some audio. Now, he knew that his camera could have been confiscated. Now, a media person like me, I'm going to be like, don't walk. I swear that if you walk up on me, I'm going to pick up a chair. Like, I'm not. No, nobody not taking my, nobody not touching my fucking camera ever. 
You know, and I'm a humble dude. You know, if you see me at the press conference in another event, I'm going to be quiet as a kitchen mouse, floating around. But, you know, long story short, the dude was hot and, you know, trying to hide his camera, but he had it on getting the audio. So, you hear Jaylee I Love go up the area, so, you know, you hear like a little conversation going on. And you, you can clearly hear that Cuba is pissed because he's thinking like, damn, well, why would he come to me? Why are you going to sing you? What kind of profession? That's not professional. You know, and that's me saying it's not professional. How you gonna send? How you gonna send one of your fighters to come? Like, yeah, tell him I'm releasing him. What type of shit is that? And then you hear Floyd Mayweather just so happened. I guess maybe he heard the scuffle and everything. He came out. Then he starts talking about him. By the end of the day, that boy gonna be walking. What does that mean? That means he's gonna take his shit back. Like, how can you? How can you? How? How can you respect somebody that would do something like that? You know, like I said, in the Money Team Mansion, if Manny Pacquiao was mentioned or any flaw of Floyd Mayweather, for one, everybody else, all the underlings of his, the Money Team was what they call them, all, all the all, all the payroll staff, they're going to start coming at you first. It's like, oh man, you're a fucking hit at They're going to come at you first. Why? Because they're like, they want to protect their shit. They'll be like, shit, he fucked up. I'm trying to keep my apartment. Then Floyd Mayweather cashed you out like a leper. You're just an outcast. You know, you, you, you the dude in the Venezuela uh, prison, you know, that can't get no food. Long story short, this is a boxing promoter. And you got to hold yourself to a higher standard, you know, of that. Then I asked myself, okay, all right, well, the guy is a good boxer. He's still undefeated. Even if he's not with Mayweather Promotions, which I really think he's going to be back. I think maybe Al Heyman's going to come down, you know, from the rafters like Steam and just come talk to him like, yup, listen. Like, I understand, you know, he may have pissed you off, Floyd, but you got to bring him back with that lawsuit going on. Now, he can file a lawsuit because he, you, he may feel you retaliating against him because I seen Rockman brought him over here. And, you know, you get me? So, as it stands right now, you should know that Floyd Mayweather is the type of guy that he just says a whole bunch of shit that he doesn't mean. And Floyd's the type of guy that flies off the handle and just says shit. Like, realistically, realistically, realistically. So, do I think he's really, really gone from Mayweather Promotions? Maybe now, yes. But will he be next week? I don't know. Now, he's saying he's still going to go back. Well, he hopes to still train there and everything like that. But realistically... He's going to be looked at as like the outcast. People are not going to associate with him anymore because behind closed doors, Floyd probably telling everybody, yo, stay with, if I catch anybody associating with him, you know, like, I'm, I'm booting you too. So everybody like, fuck, yeah, I'm trying to keep my, my, my will. I, I like my money team watch. And that's what happened when you got people on payroll, you know, and that's why they say Floyd Mayweather doesn't have any real friends because nobody can tell him shit. And if you try to, like, he's not the type of guy that, that um that you can have a disagreement with. And and, and and he'd be like, yeah, you're right. I was wrong. Why? It's because he sees everybody else below him. You know, and that's 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 not a leader. Anyway, I'm gonna cut this shit short. You know, like I just had to point, I just had to point out, you know, like that was some dumbass, grimy ass shit he did to that kid and, and something like that. And this is why. This is the type of media that I want to be, the type of reporter that I want to be. And I don't plan on being a reporter forever. I plan on being a reporter for maybe two years at the most. But this is the type of stuff that, that, that media and reporters can't talk about. Why? Because Mayweather, he'll say, no, you can't come to my gym or stuff like that. Nah, because listen, listen, people want the truth now. And that's why I like the old form and way of news is dying. You know, people don't want to like them, them neatly written articles about all the good shit, you know, that you leaving out the facts that you're supposed to talk about. You know, like, nah, you got to address all of it, you know. And let's be honest, people don't, people notice about Floyd Mayweather. People know, like, damn, he going to get you a whole bunch of shit, yeah. But that's because he, he needs you for something. And then if you say anything or do anything wrong, he going to take that shit back. That's common knowledge. Anybody in the money team, all the people that be in that house, they may, he don't even know probably some of the people that be in his house, majority of them. But they got shit, he giving them shit, he'll meet you, be like, oh yeah, Floyd, but, oh, you must be in my house, so here, here go the keys to a suburban or something. You know, shit like that. Long story short, I'm T Street Controversy, this is T Street Controversy Live. Real businessmen wouldn't send a messenger, let alone another boxer. You're not going to send like an attorney or nobody, like, where's LB? We know, I, I understand, I know what's going on with LB. But I'm saying, you're, you're going to just send Jilly, I love to tell him, but I right, look. Um, Floyd just released you. So he said, basically, get your stuff and go home for the day. 
That's just like you at your job and your coworker come to you and tell you like, yes, listen, the manager said you're fired, yo. The dude, he, he said the other dude in the cubicle across from you, you know, to come around and be like, listen, I just talked to uh, and he said you're fired. So, um, yeah, um, like, damn, what the fuck? Why is it you? You know, like, um, a long story short, I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live and I cover boxing. Please subscribe. I cover every single major fight live. And I'm doing some major things. I am on a war path. I'm telling you, in these next six months, shit's going to get real. Please subscribe.